Welcome to our amazing Avon Achievers Leaders Call. It's Sunday, July 22nd, 2018. This is Karen Tucker, your Bronze Executive Upline Leader and Mentor, and we have a host of leaders on the call. Welcome, everyone. If you know you're going to have some background noise, please just mute your line and then unmute when you want to say something. If you're on the phone, you just have to do star six and then star six to unmute. So much excitement in the air. Um, it's so exciting to see everything that's coming in, uh, coming together for Rep Fest next weekend. Can't believe we'll be together in just, what, four days, less than four days now. It's like three and a half days. Um, and $10 signups, which has been so exciting to see the new mentors that, um, not the new mentors, the new promoters that we have coming in, and then they become star promoters, and the team growth, this is all going to spur. Because I'd always remember hearing my district manager say through the years, what you do now, you will see in three months. Right, Miss Becky? Every, whatever you do now, and Miss Angel, it will create your three months from now. So what you're doing now, you're building over these next few months, is going to determine your Christmas. You can't wait till October and December. A lot of team growth. So we're going to do some recognition first. Top teams, the top in team sales for campaign 15. Our overall team had $75,000 in sales, 560. With 27 new team um, additions. And I have the first generation here because you always want to keep track and pay attention to your first generation sales. I'm mean, not sales, your orders. It's extremely important because you can lose title if you don't have what you need. Angel's team did 12,135. Gina's team did 10,763. I should be saying teams of appointments. Angel's team had three. Gina's team had 10. Julia's team had 9,280,000 um, appointments. Sally's team had $6,399 and four new, four new additions. Gretchen's team had 5,994. Uh, Karen's team had 2,663. And Merch's team had 1,155 with one new addition. Congratulations, everyone. So proud of you. So, you know, it is summer. And summer is definitely going to be less than what we normally see. And it's going to, you know, hopefully all these new appointments is not going to, is going to start lifting August. It should lift August and keep us at least rolling. And, you know, we really start really seeing our growth definitely come the beginning of October. But so these are still, these are great numbers. Total self-appointments since July 11th. What do I have there? July 22nd. That's supposed to be... Um, that was this morning. As of this morning, 63 new appointments, six new promoters, and three star promoters. And I heard we just got another new promoter, so now it's seven promoters. Keep them bait coming. What, is, what makes it easier now to get the appointment? This is an open call I want you to share. What is making it easier now to get the appointments and the promoters? The, the ten dollar price. Ten dollar price. Thank mm -hmm. you. Right. Uh, if people been think have been thinking about it, that that ten dollar price is exactly it. It tips the scale. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, ten dollar price. Ten dollar price. Right. You know, and it is. And um, I think we're gonna see it. But you know, I don't know anything till next weekend. I'm hoping they announce next weekend that it may be here to stay. I, but I don't know any of that for sure. Um, I don't know anything about the, the incentive behind it. So keep promoting it. Can't wait to see what we hear next week. So, the, so far on each team, Amy, Amy had eight new appointments. Angel had eight. Uh, Gina had four. Gretchen's had one. These are just individual appointments. Julia's had 11. Karen Godes had has two, Mertes had three, Sally's had six, and I had ten. Congratulations! That's some pretty awesome numbers for ten days. That's ten days of appointments. 
We have two weeks left. Total new promoters, Sally had two, Angels had two, and Julian now has three. Congratulations, these are awesome numbers. Imagine if we could do this every campaign, why can't we? You know, I think if we focus on making sure we're getting that new representative to build that customer list and setting an appointment the next day or the next day behind that with her and going over that list. Angel, tell them how you used to do it when you would sit with somebody. I remember this. <laughs> well, I used to go through each person on their list and talk to them about what, how they see them, tell me about them. And then also on top of that, I would um, get them to tell me about everybody that that person knows that they don't know. So, that, so we, we actually figured out a marketing strategy for each person with them. What would you do when they didn't have hardly any names on their list? Oh, do you have a, um, where's your phone? Where's your cell phone? Do you mind taking it out? Then take out the cell phone. And I would say, tell me the first person on there. Are they on this list? No. Tell me about that person. I did the whole same thing. And so from that one person, we would get five to 10 other names just from that one person in their list. I said, now we have to go back and redo the list looking at your phone. Now they have to do it two ways. They have to look at their phone and Facebook. Thank you, I hope y'all taking some great notes. I really clearly remember that her doing that with the phone, but you know, we should do that ourselves. We should go through our phones ourselves, alphabet by alphabet and writing everybody down. Because and they may not say yes today, but we're planting seeds. Because we know there's gonna be another incentive announced at RepFest. I'm sure hoping there's another cruise announced and they'll always be in centers with this new company. So, you know, they may not say yes now. They may not say yes tomorrow, but in three months, things change all the time. They may say yes in 30 days or 60 days or 90 days. Um, I, I definitely recommend maybe start sending them some Christmas posts. Julia, do you want to share maybe anything you've done special that you've gotten so many? I know you have a lot of Alma leads, but um, I am going through my old Alma leads, the ones that didn't answer, and um, I am telling, uh, sending them the incentive. And believe it or not, they are, for some reason, they are really interested in the prizes that they could win with this incentive. So a lot of the people that uh, are coming in now, I keep telling them, uh, make a list of 50 and work your daily care bundle. One, in, in that list, identify at least five that you want to work with and have as team members. And they are doing that because they see that if they do it, then not only they get the incentive that is going on now, but they also get the incentive from the kickstart. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's an extra $200 that they can hit that goal, plus $50 for each recruit. That's really sweet. Awesome deal. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, Anybody else want to share something? What are you doing? Share what, do, what have you done over the last two weeks to make this, to get the most out of the $10 sign up? Angel, I'm going to start with you since you're the first alphabet, and I'm just going to go right down the row. But yeah, I'll right. Okay. Guys, here you go. I have a Facebook ad, number one. Two, every lead that has ever come in has gotten an email and phone invite. Every lead I've ever, well, not every one I've possibly had, all the ones that I had in phone bite has received a phone bite. Anybody that was ever removed from anything I had got a phone bite. Everybody's got an email on it as well. And then on top of that, um, they're also being texted. Every single one of them are being texted as well. And so now it's at a point where some people will call back and I'm still trying to get a hold of some of them. And so that at that point, I'm now it's going to be phone calls, continual phone calls. And I, you know, I remember something in Amway and I used to laugh about it and it's, you know, the phone's my hardest thing, guys. I don't know if anybody else has, you know, phonophobia, but I have phonophobia. 
I know you wouldn't realize it, but I just do not like picking up that phone. Well, one of the guys said he wanted to get to where he wanted to be. So what he did is he went to work and he came home at six o'clock. The wife would bring him supper in his office and he duct taped a headset to his head to be able to talk to people for three straight hours. Don't remember hearing that one. The only thing I remember hearing when we was way back in Amway is I never wanted the long clock. <laughs> no, he actually came out on stage with his with his headset and it was duct taped to his head. It was funny. Yes, well now we have headsets today, thank goodness. Thank God. <laughs> but um a headset does make it a lot easier when you're making all these calls. And then you got all these programs, like you have that program you're using that does a lot of stuff on automation. Um, okay, so let's see. That's what you do. you've been doing the last two weeks. So who's next? Becky. Great. Oh, I just uh, go back, Karen, to the old anyone, anywhere, anytime, always ask. Thank you. Uh, and, you know, and going back through your cell phone, we all know people in our cell phones. Times. It would take me weeks, but um, Cynthia, welcome on the call. Um, if you want to jump in any time to add anything in, please feel free to add anything. We'd love to hear from you. Gina, you're up next. I can unmute you. Oh, yeah, it would help if I was unmuted. Sorry about that. Um, what am I doing? A little bit of everything. Um, social media. I'm not, I'm not paying for it, but I am putting it out there on social media. I'm going back into all my old leads. And, you know, we've been doing this for a while. So you do have old leads, old leads, removals. Um, and th those things right there. And I'm reaching out through the text. I am going to do the phone bite and the email. Those things right there are keeping me pretty busy. It is definitely. I, I would love, to, you know, when, I, when my other computer, I lost all my leads when my computer burned up. And, um, but I know the leads I have in here and this cell phone, it's got to be packed. And I would love to be able to spend that time. Like you said, we're, you're doing a lot of different things and it is a balance, but it's a lot of different things. Um, I'd love to, you know, I'd love to try something on Facebook as well, but I don't want to compete my ad with Angel's ad. I don't want us to, you know, I don't know how that would work. You know, I don't have mine local. I don't have mine local. I have a national one. Ooh, I, might have so I did not do local, guys. I did national. That may be a really great idea to do it local. Ooh, I did not do local. Yeah, I would like some locals. Because anything else I get, I'm going to pass. So somebody else and joined us too who joined us track of everybody somebody joined us from a four five five number four five three that's sally okay all right that's sally selvin okay so we'll move right on let's see who's next you ready if your name comes at gretchen Woo -hoo. <laughs> hey everybody whoops I unmute you when you unmute. Okay. Um, I went ahead. I went a little old school. Wait, I'm muted. I'm muted again. Uh -uh. Can y'all hear me? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. I did a little bit old school since I was out of town last week with work. I went ahead and placed an ad in the newspaper up here. People up here still read newspapers. And I was able to place it in the free paper that goes in everyone's mailbox every Wednesday and in a paid paper. So I'll put the ad about the, the $10 incentive. Uh, it cost me $70, that's for three weeks, for two newspapers. It's a big ad, bigger ad with a, a border around it. And I've had two phone calls. They haven't signed up yet, but the first week I've already had two phone calls. And in addition to, I'm going to my old leads, I'm sending them emails, and I'm texting people, um, Facebooking. So I'm hoping to drum it up that way. Have you, when did your ad start? It started Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay, so it just started. I was telling Gretchen, now ads don't work in the metropolitan New Orleans area anymore. But um, they haven't really worked in 10 years. But when people used to own in ads for a long time, for probably 15, for 10 years, easy. And when I would hear people 
would say stuff like, um, they had been watching my ad for a long time before they decided to call. So if an ad works in your area, just know that it may not happen overnight. It may take a little while, but people be, may be watching ads for a long time before they actually call, but great. All right, so Gretchen. Oh wait, can I do one more thing? Um, not only did I get, I had two phone calls, uh, someone went ahead and ordered online uh, direct sales. So I picked up a customer too. So you put your website in there? Yes, I put my email, my website, my phone. How big was the order online? $40. Hey, so the profit on that pays for part of the ad. You, might get yes. a, you never know what you're going to get. Pretty cool. Awesome. So, Julie, you're next. Julie, you shared a little bit already, but. Uh, well, since now I am jobless. Yay. Unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have more time. So, I have a restaurant slash Mexican store. The lady has um, asked me to come in and set up Avon there, and I stay there pretty much as, as long as I can possibly stay. And uh, I talk to the people that go there, and uh, I have gotten six orders from the people there, and I have flyers with the incentive for the sign up for ten dollars and I am able to talk to the Hispanic people that go there and I'm working that in. Good. And we know them Spanish girls when they want to work this, they can really work it. Great. And it's great here and having the orders. That's six new people. You didn't have six new customers. Woohoo. Okay, Miss Karen, your turn. Uh, let me find out if y'all can hear me. We can. Okay. Um, well, basically some of the same things I'm doing. I'm texting everyone from my the old leads. I've also reached out to a couple of people that have been removed for inactivity or whatever that were past the year. And not that I've gotten any responses from them, but I did get two sign-ups. And the two sign-ups I have right before the incentive came in to play, um, they'll be eligible for it. So that helped. I've also gotten, did pick up two new customers in Hammond, hallelujah, mm -hmm. finally. Um, but that's, that's all I'm doing so far. I've, I haven't been calling people or emailing. I've been doing everything by text with my old leads. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it starts with texting first, and then maybe if you have their email address, maybe sending them an email and then um, right. We don't really know on all the numbers we have where they all sell numbers. Most of the numbers today are, but you know, it's not really positive on that one. But well, thank you so much for sharing. So let's see. Um, we have well, Merch is brand new. We won't throw her on the spot. She already kind of she already kind of shared. Sally, is there anything else? Anything you want to add that maybe somebody else didn't say? No, I think I'm doing a little bit of everything that everybody else is doing. Are you texting out anything special as far as maybe Christmas flyers, any kind of special flyers besides just the $10 special? No, the only other things that I'm going through is the Avon Social and pulling out other things from there on the incentive section. So it's kind of changing up the flyer look. That way, if I'm going after him a second time, it gives it a different look with uh, the message. So you can take something out of there to share with all your Alma leads? Nice. Yeah. Oh, good. Through a text, yeah. A when text. you go through, you can download the flyer through Avon Social when you're on your phone. You can pull up any picture off of Avon Social if it lets you download. I always do everything on my desktop. That's something new. See, learn something new every day. And if it doesn't, that let way, you snip it. Snip it, right? No, that way, if you're in, you know, the doctor's office, the grocery line, at the meat counter, I'm constantly working it. And so I look for different ways of getting them engaged or attracted to my text message that I'm going to send out. And the second time I send them the text message, I don't send the same message. I tweak it a little. I eliminate some things to make it brief and to the point. 
Thank you. I definitely, uh, I, I've, I've texted a bunch of people yesterday because I don't have any old Amelie since I delegate absolutely everything, but I do have books. And you know how I told y'all on calls before I save every one of my representatives on a representative log sheet. And I had Karen help me this week where she checked everyone to see who was not in my removals because you have to go back to your removals a year. You have to drop down, you know, do that advanced search. And then I had her, um, after she did that, I made sure they were gone for a year. Made sure they weren't in representative search. Then she goes into removals for a year. And I text one whole binder yesterday. And um, my other binder will get text tomorrow. And then I have another binder I'm going to be looking through. So those are great leads. I highly recommend you have some way of keeping track of everybody as they self-appoint. Now, Julia taught me something a couple, a month or so ago. When she saves them in her phone, she puts when they started in her phone that she dates that. Now, um, you know, there is another way too, as somebody does get removed, we could be downloading those names in an Excel spreadsheet. That way you would, you would know when they left, providing of course that they didn't come back. But what's the worst that could happen? If they came back and you didn't catch and they signed up for $10, at least they would have some fresh books to get started again. But uh, Well, uh, everybody's doing such a phenomenal job. This is such a, it's definitely a game changer. You know, I was thinking earlier too that Last year, we had Lead to Achieve, and over the years, we've had little incentives, something not like Lead to Achieve, but where there was something like Lead to Achieve, but, and now they threw this out there this year. Who knows what it will be next year at this time? It's really exciting to see the growth and the just excitement, period. I, I, think, I don't know if anybody saw my post I put on Facebook earlier, but after 29 and a half years to still be excited about what you'd love to do, how great is that? How many people can say that about a job? You know, um, it's exciting to see everybody sharing. I so appreciate that as well. All um, changes, changes to the next thing. Um, all self appointments that have not submitted an order, they have it August 7th. Anybody that signs up till Tuesday, they have to put their first order in by August 7th to play in this incentive. I did send an email out to all pending representatives. I think it was Friday. So if you've had anybody sign up yesterday or today, make sure you let them know that they have to put that. They all got the email. I definitely recommend texting everybody. And um, you'll see the scale in the next page. If they sign up starting Wednesday, so if you have somebody on the fence, we'll never stop them, of course. But if it's a friend or a personal lead, I'd have them wait till Wednesday because then they have a little bit longer. Um, what is this? You need to text. You need, you need to email and text them the next page, which is this. You should all have a copy of this. If you don't, I mean, I don't think I sent this as an attachment. I can send this. So somebody was telling me earlier how they're using this. Was that yesterday? Or was that Sally trying to tell me what they're doing? If somebody signs up, jump in anytime. If somebody signs up and they play, if they sign up by Tuesday, they have to place their first order by August 7th. They have to place that $150 order by August 21st. And they have to place a total $500 order by September 4th. And of course, then if they if they fall into the second uh, level, which is July 25th to August 6th, their first order has to be in by August 21st. The $150 order has to be in by September 4th. And the $500 order has to be in by September 18th. You can find this under incentives. Um, on your home page, if you look, what's it called, Gina? Because Gina just had to tell me exactly where it was. On your home page, it's just the tax center. On the success center, success center. Yes. Thank you. If you look and under, you can also find it under the sales leadership tab. Thank you. And was it you? It was either you or Sally was telling me how y'all were using this. It was one of y'all, but um, not uh, wasn't you? I would I would text this out, this picture out, because it shows them everything they're gonna get. I did a Facebook Live in English and another one in Spanish with that flyer. 
And um, I had the the items that I had, like I show brochures on the two um, gift bags. But what I didn't have, which is the second and third incentives, I just showed them the, the brochure. I mean, the flyer. flyer. Yeah, I got that. I got that blue bag with the red heart somewhere in this house. I don't think I gave it away to anybody, but I'll find it. It'll show. And I did do a short video. I think it's hanging in the closet, Karen. I'll look, but I'm going to have to look again. You know, there's so much in there. Sometimes I don't see things. But um, I did a short video as well on this. Now, Julia, when you did your video, did you do that on your home page on Facebook or was it on the team page? I did it on my home page. I think I shared it in the group page. If I didn't, let me know and I'll put it in. I did do a short video, but it wasn't in Spanish. They would never understand I tried to do it in Spanish, but it was in English. And I showed, I didn't have the calendar, but I did try and show what the uh, prizes were as they climbed. Are you taking advantage of this $10 startup fee? Kind of jump with this. You know, what have you done over the last two weeks? And at the end of the call, I'm going to ask anybody to share, is there something new that you're going to be doing going forth? Because we have two weeks. This was something I saw on Facebook. You know how you get all those prepaid um, envelopes and, and just different things, junk mail and just different things. Somebody takes when we have an incentive like this and they put a recruit flyer in there with their business card and they mail them out on their post. Not, they, you're not using your postage, using that company's postage. Somebody has to open that envelope. Isn't that a cool idea? I thought it was pretty neat. So now all the junk mail we get, instead of tearing it up, we need to open it up to see if they have a return um, envelope, a prepaid envelope. And I'm gonna, you bet I'm gonna start billing me a little uh, staff because we know there's gonna be another great incentive coming. Rep Fest 2019 will be announced at the end of next Sunday. So when it, and I don't know when registration's gonna open, but you know, when registration opens, you want to jump on it because Dean and I were able to jump on it the morning and jumped in it. Angel was on the road and Angel wasn't open, able to jump in until later that evening. And what happened, Angel, when you got on that Thursday evening? I couldn't get a hotel room for Thursday night at the at the Hyatt. I'm at the Hilton. Right. Is that what happened or is there something else that happened? That's what happened. Thank you for sharing it. And you know, that's what happened. Who would have thought Thursday night, they must have something else going on Thursday when that Thursday night opened. So when they say they're going to announce it that day, you want to be on it, Johnny on the spot. Uh, um, and of course with the group me app now, I'll be able to, we'll be able to say, okay, it's up right away and somehow jump in and register and jump and get your hotel. At one time, they used to let us get several hotel rooms, but now they'll only let us get one. And you know, maybe that's something we can recommend. Oh, before we go on to that slide, I did want to bring back up the um, mini kits. We got to go back to making mini kits. I, I've gotten away from it myself. I don't know about you, but you bet. I, and I don't have any more 17 books. But I'm going to be, I have a couple of 16s and I'm going to be making mini kits, especially those of where we're all out every day, either you, whether you're stopping at the gas station or wherever you're stopping, whether it be the doctor's office, the bank, wherever you're stopping. And I pray those of us that are traveling Wednesday and Thursday, you need to have at least three to five mini kits with you packed. Karen, speaking of the brochures, I know we had spoken about, um, what these people that have to have an order in by August the 7th are getting in their kits. So, um, you know, everybody needs to speak to them and make sure they're getting seven, Campaign 17 brochures. And maybe if not, shoot some out in the mail to them. And it's going to be the same thing with the, uh, the second phase. The people that sign up, um, let me get the specs on. What is that? The 25th through August the 6th. Right. They have to turn in a Campaign 18 order by August 21st. And they're probably not going to be getting campaign 18 brochures. I wouldn't imagine. They are getting 18 brochures in their kit and now 19 is going out. So, and, um, so make the, sure and order, order books, y'all. Make sure you have extra books. Um, 
I'm going to call tomorrow. My problem is when I realized this was Saturday. Or, yeah, it must have been Saturday. I wish I'd have had more books to mail out. But by the time mine comes out, I'm going to be on my way to, I'm going to be on my way out of town. By the time they come in, it's not going to be enough time for them to get an order in by August 6th. But I, I have a self-appointment that started in, well, it's going to start in campaign 18 and she got uh, books for 17 and 18. Oh, good. So she did get some 17. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Julia, if she doesn't start until 18, she won't qualify for the incentive, will she? That's why I told her to um, promote the delegate bundle and put in a campaign 17 first. Because okay. I'm telling them, if you do not get an order any size, you will not qualify for this incentive. Yes. Okay. I have definitely been, you know, encouraging them sell the daily gear bundle, promote your e-store, but you still have a lot of new reps that are not going to do that. We just have to. If you have extra books that you can mail them, some great. Otherwise, they're going. They, they can all they have to do is place some type of order. You know, my only scare there is they still have to pay a seven dollar fee because an e-store order only counts. It's not going to, um, it's an Easter order is not going to pull the order through. They have to have an online order. So make sure you all your new self appointments know that. I'm going to be emailing mine tomorrow as a reminder and, uh, and texting them, making sure that they got that and they saw this order has to be in by um, August 6th. The American Cancer Society walks are around the corner as well. They're in October. I have registered for three. The one in New Orleans, one in Baton Rouge, and the one in Biloxi. If you have not registered, please register for them. You can, go, you can do multiples. I don't know which ones I'll be able to walk in. Um, I do, hopefully I won't have this air cast on still. I hope I don't have it on, but if I do, I sure can't walk it. But I'm going to be working the tables. We're going to have a table. I know we'll have one. Uh, I'm not sure about Baton Rouge yet. I still have to reach out to them, but I believe in New Orleans and Biloxi, we will have a table where we will be able to promote Avon. Nobody else has a table, so don't tell anybody about this. This link, this call will not be uploaded on YouTube. I will take the link and I will post it for our leaders. Um, but that's it. It's not going to be out there for everybody to see. So who has registered for one of the walks? Karen, this is Becky. Yes, uh, I've registered. And in Mississippi, uh, Evelyn, our coach, we had a kickoff for Mississippi. The different locations where walks were being done in Mississippi. And it looks like Avon's taking the lead on the, uh, for all the representatives in our area that want to work it, to work the tent. Okay. But you know me and you know Angel and nobody's gonna take it totally over from us, right? <laughs> no, no, we'll, if we gotta go out there and I'll ping two tubes, we're gonna do what we have to do. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we'll definitely talk more about that. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I'm registered for all three. And I registered for the one in Metairie. Who else? Angel, all three. Good. Me too. I'm in all three. I have Whoa, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> Who? I haven't registered yet, but I will. For the one in, in Metairie. Metairie? All right. That's Merta. Okay. Merta. And, um. Uh, Anybody else has signed? You got to at least walk in the New Orleans. You got to walk in one of them. This is Cynthia. I, I don't read enough stuff on anything. I, 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 I'm dead until Sunday and Monday when I'm off. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Well, that's okay. Now, you know, you should be able to register at youravon.com. You should be able, they should have a link under the beauty buzz. I would be almost positive they have it there. Probably. It's okay. there. It's there. Okay. Uh -huh. Register for Baton Rouge because nobody's walking with me, well, me and Angel in Baton Rouge, but uh, an Angel, you can sleep here, but um, that way we can get a group to walk out here together. I don't know if y'all saw, Sally saw it. I put my link up the other day on Facebook because now when we start rolling, especially once we get back from Rep Fest, we need to be posting this on Facebook, asking for donations. I actually put $50, any $50 donation or more, I would send them an A-box. I had a $50 donation. 
Sally, tell them about that donation. Anybody else saw it first who made the donation? I was tickled. Anybody saw who made the donation? I believe I did. You believe you did? I do. You do? You wanna, Sally, you want to share? Was it a hymns? It was a hymn. Yeah, I'm tickled. You can tell. <laughs> Gina, go for it. Go for it, Gina. Tell us. It was Mr. Singstack. Is that how you pronounce it? Michael Singstack? Michael, Michael Singstack said, woohoo! I was not expecting to get that kind of, you know, to get a donation from somebody at Avon Corporate. I'm sure he doesn't want me to mail him an Avon. But, you know, when I see him at Rep Fest, I'm going to have to give him a little something just as a thank you. Even if I hand him just a thank you note, I'm sure it'll mean a lot. But I was really excited. So you never know who may give you a donation. I am still going to drawings um going back to the appointments for every five self appointments from july 11th um i'm going to a drawing now for every five every every five personal raffles i will do a 25 dollar gift card i had trouble finding the gift card yesterday at costco so i'm gonna have to go to walmart but um all our appointments because I know you're still working very hard for that. It'll be a $10 gift card for every five Alma points. That will not probably, I'll probably either do a live call. It'll either be tomorrow night or Tuesday night. Because Tuesday night, night will be the last night I'm working. I'm going to say I'm not working Wednesday. Because, you know, there's so many last minute things you have to do before a trip. So I'm, I'm trying not to say I'm working Wednesday at all. But. So um, while we are away at Rep Fest, keep the fort running. Keep everything going just like you're doing. And um, just like you, know, I'm definitely going to try and bring some stuff with me once I can start texting. I want to be able to send them something again. But um, all recruiters' names will be put into a drawing for a gift card. I guess I had that. But um, our next leaders' call will be in two weeks, Monday. I, I'm having to move it Monday because I will be on vacation that weekend. And I don't know if I'd have enough time to get some stuff pulled together. Um, it will be that Monday, August 6th. I'm having to move the sales meeting to Monday, August 13th instead of the 14th because the Biloxi, um, for these breast cancer walks, there's a kickoff breakfast that I have that I get invited to attend and then some Biloxi um, on the 15th and I you know I'd have to get up and leave my house at 4 30 in the morning that's not going to happen so I'm going to move the calls our leaders call and you'll be and you'll get a reminder it will be Monday August 6th and it's the only time I'll change it like if I'm on vacation and the sales meeting will be Monday August 13th so I'm gonna close I'm gonna stop there I want to hear what what is something maybe you're going to do over this we have two weeks left to August 6th to grab this opportunity of $10 startup and a $500 gift. Anything extra? Somebody maybe has not tried? Now I know I can do a Facebook ad and just do it locally. I like that. Do a Facebook ad? Yes, you can do Facebook ads, and Angel has one going right now, but it's all over the U.S., and Angel's had a lot of appointments. Angel, those appointments you're getting, um, have they been away from here? No, they have not, so that means that maybe I should bring it in closer. I don't know, no. but I can, I can do Mississippi, and I can do... Um, yeah, because you can do, because if you do your area, you can do, like, say, within a certain amount of mile distance that you want to do it in. Oh, good. That's great, because what a great way for you to pick up even customers in your area. Mm -hmm. I would like to build a couple of recruits out where I'm at in this area. And I'm not out in the street a whole lot, but when I am out, I have not been getting the turnaround that I would like to see. But, um, hey, a Facebook ad is worth a shot, definitely. Hey, all the running I've done, I've waved over 50 people. No clicks yet, but I've waved. We'll have to do a wave. Y'all have no clue we're talking about, huh? I had seven yesterday. I put it on my keychain. My keychain's in the front. Do y'all know what the wave is? I don't. Do you know? No. You want to tell them, Angel? So exciting. Okay, so Sharon and I have, and a few other people, I think Sally has it, I, don't, I think Julia, Gina, 
I'm not sure. We have um, something called LFI Shuffle. And what happens is with the LFI Shuffle, say I'm out and about, I don't have any books with me, I can get somebody's contact information and send them my business card via a text and, and, get, and already I have their information and it gets sent to them. I've been doing that a lot lately. So then the next thing is, is Karen and I got these waves. So I think we paid $25 for each wave or I don't remember how much they cost. But anyway, so we, we bought the waves. You put, you hook it up, okay, and it's in LFI Shuffle. It's sort of the same little program. And so when you go, and when you walk by somebody with this little beacon thing, what happens is, is they just get an impression, almost like a text message to their phone if they have an Android phone with um, a message. So I didn't like my message, so I've changed my message, and I'm, hopefully I can get more clicks. So I changed my broadcast message, Karen, to um, start your Avon business um, today, $10. So, and I had over 50, I have over 50 impressions, but no clicks yet. So this is fun. We just, we're testing it out to see how many people we need to give an impression to before we get a click or something. I signed up with Shuffle about a year ago, and the first time, it was actually at RepFest, I was able to send, I met somebody in, in the elevator, and I was able to send her my electronic business card, and she actually signed up. She never did anything, but she did sign up, and I really haven't used it. I bet in eight months I haven't used it, but I'm back to using it, and I did change. You can upload up to 10 business cards, and I put... I put that little cartoon ad that you've seen people put on Facebook for recruiting, but now I want to like the angel saying that, and I, I have, I haven't sent that out to anybody, but the beacon, I went to Costco yesterday. I set mine up before I left and I dinged seven people when I was there. So it's exciting. We don't know what we're going to get, but we'll definitely keep you um, informed and we'll let you know. My husband doesn't know, but I'm going to be putting one on his phone as well. Um, you know, I want, I'm done before I go through that airport on Thursday. Um, you know, coming back home Sunday, I want it to be dinging anybody around me. I can't wait till it works on iPhones. Well, thank you, everybody. I think that's all we pretty much have to share. Oh, did you get these flyers in your kit? That's a $10 flyer. They're in your kit. Well, not in your kit. They were in your order. If you got an order, I got an order in the beginning of the week. Everybody should have got some of these. $10 flyers were in, your, were in my last order. Nice, clear. Yeah, I got three of them. You got three of them? Um, I yeah, in my last order. Uh -huh. Anybody else get them? I no. I I yes, I did. You got I'm it? getting my order tomorrow. Okay, good. How many did you get, Sally? About seven. Seven? Okay. I didn't check to see. Cause, and they open up. The front page, you know, it's just like the three pictures that went out. I don't know how many I got. I thought I had 10, but you know, I really didn't count them. But, well, that's it. I thank you so much. I didn't expect the call to go this long, but there's so <laughs> many exciting things to share. Make sure you tune in the Avon Facebook page. You know, starting Thursday, we're going to be doing a lot of live stuff. Well, we're Before I forget, can I uh, give a big shout out to Myrta for achieving bronze ambassador this last campaign? I'm so proud of her. Absolutely. That's Thank great. you. That's nice. <laughs> You're welcome. Very welcome. Hard Thank work. You. Hard work. All right. Thank, Thank you so much. And Karen, thank you for your card. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. And we will see, if we won't see you at Rep Fest, we will see you live watching our live post. Because I know you'll be okay. on live. Um, because I know yeah. everybody will, will want to be with us um, this weekend. Can't wait to see everybody that's going to be there and everything they're going to announce. Can't it's just going to be? Me too. I'm so excited about. There is another thing. I remembered off my notes when I was tell, talking with Sally on my way to my son's. You want to achieve President's Club? You want to achieve? increase this year you want to get these awards because i didn't know till was it friday i think friday they sent an email out letting us know the recognition we're going to be getting and whatever events we invited to 
and I get to bring a guest, which means you'll get to bring a guest when you earn these. And how exciting that is to be able to invite your team members. You know, I don't have a whole lot of my top leaders going to Rep Fest, but those that are gone, I was able to reach out and, um, and invite, you know, to the lead, there's a leaders uh, welcome dinner Thursday night and Jean is going with me and um, I think it's Gina. Gina, you going to that one, right? Yeah. And I was able to bring somebody to the, the VIP party for ID night and um, invited Gretchen to come with me. And uh, Saturday night to the awards banquet, anybody that got a national award. And I invited Gina's going with me. And Sunday, um, I have a, a, bank, a luncheon that I've invited Angel to go with me. How exciting. Oh, and then I get to, I, with being woman of enterprise, a, a woman of enterprise recipient, they put us like in the front row and I get to bring a guest with me to sit in the front row. So I've asked Angel to come with me. Just think if I had all of y'all, I could have really spread, I could have spread those uh, invites out. So this is why you want to achieve all, you want to achieve some great things this year because when you get to go to Rep Fest next year, you'll get to bring somebody on your team with you. And they say you get to bring a guest. Isn't that exciting? I don't know who's going to be sitting in the back of the conference because all President's Club, all your levels are all going to get to sit in the front. All title achievements are going to get special seating. We won't really get to sit as a group. It doesn't look like it, but how exciting it is for all those things. Sally, was there anything else on that list that I didn't cover? Probably. No, that was it. But we'll be sitting as a group because we're all going to be in the front row. That's right. You're all going to be that's right. <laughs> is, there, is there an itinerary to go by? I have no idea what to expect. Yeah, you to wanna, when you go to youravon.com, click on um, under the beauty buzz, there is, you'll see the, where it has rep fest. You have to click on it like you're registering and then you can open up the agenda. The agenda is changing though, because at first they didn't have nothing for, um, they didn't have nothing for product expo. I wasn't seeing it. But they opened that up with Friday morning from 10 to 12. All Presidents Club and above will get to go into Product Expo first. And so I think it's 10 till 2. 10 till 2, right. Yeah. Thank you. But, you know, half of them are probably going to be on the bus. I'm not going on the bus now. I've seen the plants. I want to see Product Expo. That's number one on my list. I've seen the plants in Canada. I've seen the plant in Atlanta several times. And with this cast, I don't think I could walk. 90 minutes would be really tough. But, um, you know, same, same thing when you get there and you get your swag bag, there will be an, a printed itinerary in it, an agenda and everything. Okay. Just trying to figure out what to wear. You know, I just keep getting all this stuff. And I only have two days of life. My job does not allow me to, I can't. I can okay. Hide. Cynthia, Cynthia, like I told the representative that I have going.